Greetings, everybody. July 2nd, 2017. It is 10 minutes after 3 in the afternoon in lovely Olympia, Washington, on another uh, nice summer day. Uh, in the 70s, a little bit balmy, wind blowing, just got done weed whacking in the garden and uh, some pruning and stuff like that. And I'm about to sit down here and do some of this art stuff. Now, uh, I go back and forth and do a lot of tricks. So hopefully you can see this is the third um, installment of me working on um, Wabi Sabi. <laughs> You'll notice some of these kind of details are going to be pretty interesting when we actually do the board. But this piece is going to take me some time. I want to uh, just take you a little bit around the board. So these are uh, 16 by 22 inch in the finish size. And you can see I've got some sushi on the table and two butterflies. One is going to be my chef. And the others just uh, flying in for some uh, sushi. Now, got a bowl of rice. This is going to be uh, oh, like a little stand for some uh, soy sauce to, uh, you know, take your chopsticks and stir up your your uh, sushi in there if you want. Some people don't do that. And I'm going to put some, uh, you know, um, wasabi here maybe. And so uh, let me just take a second and on the other screen I'm going to uh, type in wasabi just for some reference. I didn't do that before I dialed this up because I'm giving you a chance just to look at the, uh, the uh, picture, you know. Sometimes people don't get to see them. It happens real fast. And uh, now I'm going to go images on the other screen. And I'm going to put some wasabi uh, on a plate, so on our board, actually. So right here it could be some wasabi, I think, or here or here or anywhere. So uh, let's, do a little, let's do a little bit of wasabi right here. So you know we have five colors that we're working with, and then I kind of play around with them, you see, to get my... Uh, shadows, my highlights, my midtones, some line work, some definition, some. Uh, there's not too much optical illusions using these uh, uh, five colors in the board. So, uh, but let's let's do a little wasabi together. Okay, before I kill all ten minutes, because I'm only doing ten minutes every time, and I'm yakking away. So uh, first, I'm gonna. Change the diameter of my, see there, there's a little mark, so you can see that. So let's undo that, edit, undo. And uh, so for my dark tone of my wasabi, wasabi, I'm going to use this. So what I do is I go over off screen, I'm hitting my eyedropper, and I'm selecting one of my palette colors, which I move around as I paint. And once I have enough of them in the painting, then I just go to that. And that's really what I should be doing now, but um, I'm not too coherent at the moment, as you can tell. So here's going to be the dark tone. Just want you to see me build up wasabi. Oh, got into the tabs. What do we do when that happens? Well, we got to get rid of the other colors because there is enough of the colors in the painting. So what we'll do is we'll take the background color, sample that, go to brush, set my brushes at 100, and I'm going to come in here and just clobber these out. So when you go over the first time when you're working in the RGB mode, uh, it still gives a kind of a ghost image, so you got to hit it two times. But that's not a problem. Okay, so we got our little wasabi pile up here, and we're kind of shaping that now. And there. And now we've got, you know, um, we do have a method where uh, we can put these blends in, but the blends are still dithered, uh, so we're working that. Um, we're not keen on the dither. We can take a nice solid like this uh, where I have the halo and do that as a single color. So with dithering, it doesn't um, corrupt it much. 
And if you get into something like this, it's just not where we want it 100% because we're pretty much perfectionists at what we do. I think so. You may not. Everyone's got their degrees of perfection. But okay, so let's get back to this. And uh, I'm going to take a sample of this. Another one of my tricks when I'm painting, just so you know. And then I'm going to my brush and I'm going to do my wasabi back in here. And I'm kind of thinking of how I want to shape this little mountain of wasabi. So, you know, as an artist, everything has so much detail. Like, by the time I'm done with these things, I'm pretty much mad in the head. Insane. Crazy. And I have to say to my partner, Blake, am I done? Am I done? And Blake goes, you're the artist. You call it. And I go, no, man. Help. Am I done? And so we usually work it out together as a couple of gentlemen. Uh, you know, we're an effective team. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to take a highlight color, which will be this background. So you got to decide. There's five colors, and you don't really think of the color of the object if you're me. You just think of how can I make it resemble it. Um, and everybody else uses their mind to make this work. It's another one of the things that I'm really attracted to about. Uh, see, that looks like almost a shadow. See that? And that will be made into a shadow. So, okay, but for now, let's, let's start working this up. Wasabi style. So I'm putting some highlights here and there. Thinking about this mountain of wasabi. Just... A mount of wasabi. And I might try a little bit of blends here, but I'm afraid it'll get uh, really corrupted. So I'm trying to keep everything a solid, you know, like these are. These are actual solids, all of them. And the only thing that isn't a solid at the moment is this halo. So if I keep the uh, areas restrained where there's some monkey business of shading and blending, to, uh, or confined, let me put it that way, confined to a smaller area, then I think we have less problems with that. It's when I try and do like five colors into one that the dithering makes it look really just like um, too spotty, you know, too spotty. So, you know, now we're making this mound, the guy, and then we kind of just go back and forth. So now, um, I might introduce a third color like this dark purple. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to get the old eyedropper again. I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to select the color. Go to my brush on the other screen. There's a lot of tricks on the other screen you're just not going to see because um, at the moment we're still pretty proprietary. You know, we're trying to develop something that we're proud of and that we can. Uh, do something with because you know there's just thousands of hours go into these things man it's not like a five minute deal that's for sure eh, a little wasabiness a little poking in here and gestures really I just love gesture drawing so um, you know, for people that want to see these strokes and just exactly how an artist is uh, representing himself. And so this is, I do this and I kind of find areas that uh, I want to enhance. So a painting is, uh, is very much wabi-sabi when you look it up. And uh, uh, one of the things of wabi-sabi which is, you know, this undefinable concept, really, is that you love mistakes. I mean, I, I find beauty in error constantly because if I didn't, I wouldn't function since I make a lot of mistakes. But as an artist, you play with those mistakes. So we're doing our wabasabi together here today. So I'm just working an area. So if it looks too linear to me, I push it back. I break it up. I do things. Now, I might want a little dark shadow here. So let's get into the black 
Well, I'm looking at my wa uh, wasabi because I'm going to have to texture that somehow. It's, it's like a green mashed potatoes, you know? <laughs> and uh, it definitely has some textures. 